Hi friends, I'm David and welcome to your morning cup of yoga. Today's practice is physically energizing and strengthening while at the same time it's nurturing and calming to your mind. And this recipe of a calm mind and a physically strong and energized body is just what you need to take anything life might throw at you today and turn it into an adventure. Let's begin in an easy, comfortable seat. So you can sit in any position that helps you feel relaxed and comfortable, legs crossed, up on your heels, sitting on a cushion, just as long as you feel grounded, so you wanna feel the earth beneath you, and then sit with a long, tall spine. So lift the heart, lift the crown of the head, whoop, and let the shoulders melt away from your ears. We'll sit like this for a few with eyes closed, welcoming a calming breath, and we'll move from there into a more in-depth breathing exercise or pranayama called Nadi Shodhana, or alternate nostril breathing. And that's a really simple but powerful way to clear the mind and create a state of inner peace and calm while at the same time waking up energy in the body. So it's just what we're after today. Okay, so just watch me for right now. I'll show you how to do Nadi Shodhana and then we'll do it together in a moment. Okay, so just watch. To begin, we take Vishnu Mudra with the right hand, curling the index finger and middle finger to the base of the palm. And then the right thumb, or the thumb, hovers over the right nostril and the pinky and ring finger hover over the left nostril. And with eyes closed, we will simply close one nostril Exhale and inhale through the opposite, and then close that one. Exhale and inhale, and just go back and forth like that. Okay? All right, so now you know how to do it. When I give you those cues, we'll move into it. Okay, hands to the knees, sit up nice and tall, close your eyes. And just take a few deep, full breaths in through the nose, out through your nose. As you inhale, feel your awareness and your attention gathering more and more to this moment. And as you exhale, relax your body from the crown of your head all the way down to the toes. Begin to relax your forehead and your brow. Relax your eyes and your cheeks. Relax your tongue and your jaw. With each exhale, feel all the muscles of your face letting go of tension, tightness. Feel the shoulders melt from the ears. Relax across your collarbone and the space of your heart. And now let's move into Nadi Shodhana. So with your right hand, curl the index finger and middle finger to the base of the palm, keeping your eyes closed. Hover the thumb over your right nostril and the pinky and ring finger hover over the left nostril. And just to begin here, we'll take a great big breath in through both nostrils and an open mouth exhale to clear. Inhale again through both nostrils and close the right exhale through the left for one, two, three, Four. Keep that position. Inhale through the left. One, two, three, four. And now close the left. Exhale through the right. One, two, three, four. Keep the position. Inhale through the right. One, two, three, four. Close right. Exhale left. One, two, three, four, inhale left, one, two, 
three, four. Close left, exhale right. One, two, three, four. Inhale right. One, two, three, four. Close right, exhale left. One, two, three, four. Inhale left. One, two, three, four. And close left, exhale right. One, two, three, four. Inhale right. One, two, three, four. Exhale through the mouth and let both hands float down to the knees. Sit up nice and tall. And return to a natural breath in and out through the nose. Just take the next few moments to really let yourself relax fully. Muscles of the face, the cheeks, the jaw. And focus all of your awareness on your breath. As you inhale, blink your eyes, slowly open. All right. Let's work into a few warm-up stretches here. So extend the right leg long. Bring the sole of the left foot inside that right thigh for Janyu Shirshasana. Root the sit bones. As you inhale, reach your hands to the sky. And exhale, a nice, easy, slow fold forward, reaching your heart and the crown of your head forward as you fold. Take it nice and slow here. We're just warming up. And slight internal rotation of the right leg. So turn the right knee in. Feel the right sit bone spread open on the mat as you continue to melt into it. And inhale, slowly rise. Bring the left hand to the mat behind you and reach your right hand up to the sky. Lift your hips and reach the right hand up and over. Stargazer pose. Big stretch through the fingertips. And exhale, slowly lower. Let's do the other side. Left leg grows long. Sole of the right foot comes in. Root and rise. Big breath. Reach up. And exhale. Fold and empty. Again, take this nice and slow. Listen to your body. If you're feeling a little extra tight today, don't push it. Just take it breath by breath. Again, a little internal rotation, turning the left knee in, spreading the left sit bone open on the mat as you deepen into the fold. And as you inhale, slowly rise. Right hand to the mat behind you. Lift the hips and arc that left finger, left hand up and over. Reach through the left fingertips. Big breath. Exhale, slowly lower. Sweep the feet around behind you, and let's come into tabletop for a few cat cows. So wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips here. Wrap the elbows in, and as you inhale, push your heart forward. Draw the shoulders back. Lift the tailbone. Exhale, round and flex through the upper back. Push into the earth. Draw the navel in, and back and forth we go. Inhale, heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, round and flex. Draw the navel in. And just work back and forth like this with your own breath at your own pace. Making these big, beautiful wave shapes in the upper back. And we're training the body to integrate breath and movement. We're training the body to integrate the core and the back muscles. Coming to stillness, curl the toes, lift the hips, and push back downward, dog. Let's take a few breaths here. Pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw opposite heel down. And coming to stillness, let's build a nice strong base in our downward dog here. So wrap the elbows in gently, more weight to the index fingers and thumbs. Feel the armpits hollow and the upper back broaden a little bit. 
Lift the tailbone, draw the navel in, hollow the low belly. Push your thigh bones to the back wall and let the heels draw down to the mat. And then in a slight inward rotation of the legs here. So turning the knees in and the heels outward until the heels are hidden behind the toes. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Ha. <sighs> slowly walk your feet to your hands. Let's take a forward fold at the top of the mat. Feet hip distant apart. Bend into the knees and grab opposite elbows. Little sweet sway back and forth and relax. Horse flutter your lips. Let everything that feels tight and tense melt away in the breath. Keep the bend in the knees, relax the hands down to the mat and roll up your spine. As you inhale, look up, reach up to the sky. Big breath, palms meet overhead and draw hands to the heart. Close your eyes. Let's Stand here for a moment, feeling fully present in our body, awake and alive. Welcome to your practice. Blink your eyes open, reach up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive, empty the breath. Halfway lift. Step the left foot back and the back knee comes down. Reach your hands up to the sky, Anjane Asana. Tilt the bowl of the pelvis up, lift up through the crown of the head, reach up, wiggle the fingers, and then cactus your arms, stick the tongue out, lion's breath. <sighs> Hands come down, frame the front foot, extend the right leg long for a half split here. Now, if you have blocks, it's really nice for the hands. If not, it's okay. Just a long, straight spine is what we're after here. So reach the crown of the head forward, the heart forward, and melt over your extended leg. Breathe into it. Draw the outside of the right hip back a little bit so the hips are square to the front of the mat. As you inhale, halfway lift, draw that front heel towards you, stacking the knee over the ankle, and lift the back knee. So we're back to a low lunge. Step your front foot back and up to the sky, three-legged dog, bend the knee, stack the hips wide open here, and then slowly bring the right knee to the top of the right tricep. Touch the tricep, wrap the elbows in. Sweep the right knee across the front of the body to the left tricep, touch the left tricep. And inhale, take your right heel back up to the sky, three-legged dog. As you float the right foot down, wave your body forward into plank pose and hold plank for a moment. Push into the earth, dome the upper back, and as slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly. When you arrive, untuck the toes for cobra pose. Slide the hands back, push into the heels of the palms. Push the heart forward, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lower. Hips to heels, child's pose. Come forward into tabletop, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. As you inhale, come to the balls of the feet. As you exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or float, feet to hands. Halfway lift, fold. Bend into the knees, wave up the spine. As you inhale, reach into the sky. Palms meet and slice right down through the center line of the body as you take a bow. Halfway lift on the inhale. Step the right foot back. Back knee comes down to earth and sweep your hands up to the sky. Anjane Asana on the left side. Again, tilt the bowl of the pelvis up, lengthen the tailbone down. Lift up through the heart, through the crown, through the fingers. Cactus the arms, lion's breath. <sighs> Hands come down, extend that left leg long, and fold over your straight left leg. Again, blocks are nice for the hands here. And the hips are square to the front of the mat. And also notice my hips are roughly stacked over my back knee. Couple breaths, let yourself melt and ease into it. And as you inhale, halfway lift, front knee over the front ankle, lift the back knee, so we're back to a low lunge, and then step your front foot back and up to the sky, three-legged dog, bend the knee, stack the hips wide open, left knee to the top of the left tricep, touch and hold for a moment, and then sweep the knee across the front of the body to the right tricep, touch 
Inhale, take the left heel back to the sky, three-legged dog, and as you float it down, wave your body forward to plank pose. Again, holding plank for a few moments here. Draw the navel in, push into the earth, feel the upper back broaden, and then your choice here. You can lower halfway or all the way, upward dog or cobra. Lift the heart, shoulders draw back, and as you exhale, lift the hips, downward dog, or you can roll through child's pose to downward dog there if that feels good. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale. Ha. Feet together, take your right heel up to the sky, nice and high. As you exhale, knee to nose, squeeze it in. Shift forward, keep hugging the knee into the chest as you shift the plank pose so the knee is hovering, and then step through between the hands, low lunge. Rise up into crescent lunge, keeping the front knee nice and bent deeply. So we're working to bring that front thigh parallel to the mat, and the back leg is long and straight here. Push into the ball of the left foot. Let's take eagle arms, left under right, fingers of the left hand come to the right palm, bring more weight to your front foot, and we glide forward into one leg mountain pose with eagle arms. Extend the left leg, point the toes, and then as high as you can, cross the left thigh over the right for eagle Garudasana. Now maybe you wrap the left toes behind the right calf, or maybe you just push the left foot against the right shin, all is good, right? Lift the elbows up toward the eyes, push the forearms away from you. Bend into the standing knee, breathe. Now from here, staying balanced on the right foot, we unwrap the arms and rise up into tree pose. Sole of the left foot inside the right thigh. Palms come to the heart and push the sole of the left foot into the right thigh as you push the right foot into the earth. Lift up tall through the heart and the crown. Breathe. If you step down or fall, it's okay. No judgment. You just come back, right? From here, we hinge forward from the hips into warrior three. So extend that left leg straight back behind you. Lift the left heel. Dip the left hip. Breathe. Palms at the heart. Hips and chest are squarely facing the earth. From here, we glide that left foot slowly and carefully back to crescent lunge. Take the hands back up to the sky. Spin the back heel down, open warrior two. And you can adjust the front foot a little bit to the right here. Toe heel a little to the right. Roll to the outside edge of that left foot. And then draw the outside of the right hip back and open up the knee so you see your big toe just barely inside the knee, inside the front knee. Relax the shoulders, breathe. Flip the front palm, we take it up and back, lift through the heart. And as you exhale, glide softly forward into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. So right hand can come to a block or the mat, lift the left leg and flex that left foot like you're stamping a footprint into the back wall. And then you can keep your gaze down or if you wanna play, slowly take the gaze to the lifted hand. If you wanna play even more, you can bend that top knee, grab the left ankle and work into chapasana pose, sugar cane. Just an option, right? You stay where what feels accessible to you. As you exhale, release the bind if you have it. Slowly look down and we glide back into warrior two. Flip the front palm, take it up and back, lift through the heart and windmill the hands down, frame the foot, spin the back heel up, low lunge. Let's step back to plank pose and roll through a vinyasa here of your choice, halfway or all the way down, upward dog or cobra. Lift the hips and push back downward dog. Or again, you can roll through child's pose there if that feels good. Feet together, take your left heel to the sky, nice and high. Knee to nose, squeezing the knee into the chest, shift forward into plank pose, but keep hugging the knee in. And then step through, low lunge. Lift the heart off the front thigh, push into the ball of the right foot, and rise up into crescent lunge, nice. Nice deep bend in that front thigh. Eagle arms, this time right under left. Fingers of the right hand to the left palm. 
more weight to the left foot, the front foot, and we glide forward into one leg mountain pose. Extend the left, right leg, point the toes, and curl the right leg around the left as high up on the thigh as you can for eagle, Garudasana. Again, bend softly into the standing leg, lift the elbows, breathe. If you fall over here, it's okay, right? From here, rising up into tree pose. Unwind the arms, bring the sole of the right foot inside the left thigh, palms come to the heart, and relax. Again, stepping down is fine, right? It's not a contest, just breathe. And from here, we hinge forward into warrior three, lift the right heel, dip the right hip, hips are square to the earth, breathe, and we float our way back to a crescent lunge, hands to the sky, nicely done. As you exhale, spin the back heel down, open warrior two, adjust the front foot as necessary, maybe a little to the left here, align the front heel and the back arch, roll to the outside edge of that back foot, and open up the front knee, again, just barely the toe makes an appearance inside the front knee, relax the shoulders, Flip the front palm, let's take it up and back. And as we exhale, let's glide forward into half moon Ardha Chandrasana. Take your time in the transition here. So the left hand comes down to the mat or to a block. Right leg is extended and strong. Flex the right foot. And then either keep the gaze down or lift your gaze to the top hand. The more you engage that top leg from skin to muscle to bone, squeeze, the more stability you'll find. And then option here to play with a bind, bending the right knee, grabbing the right ankle for sugar cane pose. Breathe and relax. Release the bind if you have it, back to half moon. Look down and we glide back to warrior two, flip the front palm, take it up and back, lift through the heart, and windmill the hands down, frame that front foot. Step back to plank pose. One final vinyasa here, halfway or all the way down. Upward dog or cobra. And as you exhale, let's take it back to downward dog. Great big breath in, open mouth exhale. Let's come down to your knees for a child's pose. Nice work. Knees wide, big toe mounds to touch. Reach through the fingers and let your forehead softly come down. Rest, slow it down. Now we had a lot of balance work in today's practice. Sometimes that can feel frustrating, right? If we're falling, hopping around, I invite you to look at your practice as play, as self-discovery. Notice self-judgment when it comes up, but then come back to that playful, curious attitude. That's how we grow, that's how we learn, and that's how we have fun with this practice. It makes us wanna come back again and again. And sit back to your heels, sweep your legs around in front of you. Let's take a nice, Easy forward fold here, Paschimottanasana. Feet a little closer than hip distant. Flex your feet, reach up to the sky. And as you exhale, fold forward, nice and easy. Reach your heart and the crown of your head forward as you ease into the fold. And then gentle inward rotation of the legs. Knees turn in, sit bones spread open on the mat as you fold. And just find your fullest expression here, wherever that may be. Inhale, rise. Let's take a little counter stretch, altar pose. Bend the knees, hands and feet come down. Press and lift your hips. Big breath. Open mouth, exhale. Lower down to your back. 
And as you come down to the back, draw your knees into the chest. Close your eyes. Rock a little side to side. Let yourself savor this moment. Feel your body alive and strong. Take your feet up in the air for happy baby. Grab the outside edges of the feet. Push the heels to the sky. And draw your knees down toward the armpits. Close your eyes. You can come back to a little side-to-side rock here if that feels good. Notice if you feel a little bit more space. May this day be filled with light, growth, learning, adventures, kindness. And may you take this awareness and energy and be a light in this world wherever you go today. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Release your feet and melt into a sweet Shavasana. some movement to your fingers, your toes, wrists, and your ankles. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch as you breathe and feel your whole body waking up to new possibilities. It's a new beginning. Draw knees into your chest and roll to your right side. And gently push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Bring your palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. Let the shoulders melt from your ears. We'll end our practice with the healing sound of Om. Take a big breath in. your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. The teacher, the light and the love within me sees and honors the teacher and the light and love within each of you wherever you are on this earth. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.
Hmm. Thank you so very much for practicing with me, for spending this time with me, and for showing up for you, for your practice. It's really important. If you enjoyed this practice, please click the like button or like or <laughs> click the notification bell. Do, do all those things. It really helps to support me and support this channel. And um, I greatly appreciate that. Um, if you'd like to keep this practice going with a little bit more cool down and rest, you can click the yin practice next to me and it will set you up.